Hey there, I'm Matt Shade Tech. I'm a producer and DJ based here in Brooklyn, New York. I'm also the course designer and an instructor for the Logic program for DubSpot and for DubSpot Online. In this tutorial, we're gonna be looking at how to do some drum programming, specifically fast drum rolls. Now, there's a couple of vocal effects in this example that I'm about to play you. And those I'm actually going to cover in future videos. So if you have questions about those, just hold them for when those videos come. Let's just check out this little example that I've created. Um, the vocals are by Carla Zeno. Okay, so I'll get into the vocal processing um, in another video, but uh, let's focus on the drum programming here, and we'll start uh, with these hi-hats. I'm just gonna solo out the drums. Now, I'm using the, uh, the T Roland TR-808 kit from the EXS24 sampler. Um, this kick drum, however, is made using the, uh, the ES2 synthesizer. Um, and if you're interested in making this sound, uh, you can check out my other video on how to do that uh, on the DubSpot YouTube channel. Okay, so let's focus on these hi-hats to start with. So we've got those kind of little fast rolls in there. So let's take a look at this. Um, and in fact, let's just recreate this. Um, from scratch. So I'm just going to mute that channel for a second. I just made a, a copy using the new with duplicate setting button and I'm just going to take the pencil tool, draw in a new region, then take the pencil here, grab that closed hat on F sharp one, and let's just start by drawing in some eighth notes. Now right now the grid division for the piano roll is set to 16th notes, so I'm going to put one on every other spot and let's just loop that by pressing L. Okay, that's cool, pretty straight, right? So let's start by putting in some of those little fast rolls. Now I want one here at 9-3 on the snare. So what I'm gonna do is if I can just pencil in, let's do a little fast, we'll do a little start here. That's cool. Now I want to get that little roll in there. So what I'm going to need to do, notice, right, I can't, if I draw in a note, it snaps to the grid. I can move it off, but then it's just off the grid, right? So what I want is a finer grid division. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to zoom in and down here where it says 16, I'm going to adjust the division and let's start by taking it up to 30 second notes. Now notice, now we have these additional lines between uh, the 16th notes. I'm just gonna take my pointer tool, grab these notes, and just option drag them over one 32nd note, and that's gonna give us. So that's pretty cool. I think I want it to go even faster, so I'm gonna take the grid division up to 64th notes, and then just repeat that. Select all these guys, and then just slide them over one more while holding down the option key. Let go, and now we've got and it let's maybe do, we'll do just these first four for that. So that's kind of cool, let's check that out. Now we've got some overlapping going on, so let's select all of these and right click to do some note overlap correction. There are no chords here, it's thinking some of them are chords, so I'm just gonna say shorten everything. 
Boom. So that's cool. Now let's take that. I'm going to go back to a 16th note grid. Select all these guys and drop them over here to double the length of the pattern. And we're going to add some more variations. Now, I want to have another little roll here, another little 64th note roll. So I'm just going to grab these guys and just option drag them over right there. Just to mix up that pattern. So that's pretty cool. And I like to do this this way by going back to the higher grid resolution because you can kind of treat this almost like a its own drum hit, right? If I want to place it here, just place it right there. So we can get some kind of cool stuff that way. The last thing that I'm going to do is add this little triplet flourish that I had in my original pattern. Which gives it a cool kind of, almost feels like the hi-hats are slowing down. Um, let's throw some of those in for these last four. So I'm just going to highlight these guys and just go up here to my quantize menu select 12th notes and that's going to requantize those to triplet positions. Now notice they look like they're falling between the beats. If I wanted to get a triplet grid, I would just take my division here and take it down to 12th notes. And you can see now they're lining up with the grid there once it's on 12. So that's kind of cool. Came out a little different from my original pattern, but that's fine. So there are some kind of basic ideas for how to edit, you know, how to change the grid resolution and get that finer resolution. Now something, another technique that I like to use here is, let's go back to my original pattern. Notice, here's my two bar pattern, right? And what I like to do is to reuse these patterns. So over here for the second part, the kind of chorus part, Right, so what I did here was just, here we'll do it again with the, the new pattern. Option drag my pattern over, right, to make a copy. And then grab the edge here, pull it out to 21, right, to double the length of the pattern, but hold down the option key while doing it, right? Notice, if you can see by looking at the little dots in there, they're stretching. So we can actually time stretch the region by grabbing the corner and option dragging it. So now I've got this kind of half time version of my pattern and it sounds like this. So kind of cool. So that's what I did here, right? If we listen to these two, So that gives it a kind of a cool feeling. Now I'm using a similar technique on the snares, on these snare rolls here, right? Let's take a look at those closely. So here I'm doing a similar thing with the 64th note rolls, right? To get those very dense kind of, and then I'm switching into triplets for the last part of it as you can see here, right? To give it that kind of interesting, tense quality. Now, to kind of make this a little extra interesting, I'm using, here in the Hyper Editor, some Pitch Bend, right? You can open the Hyper Editor by clicking on here and then choose Pitch Bend from the menu. And I'm just clicked on the point here and dragged in a little rising bend from 16 to 17. So I'm actually pitching up those snares over time to give it that kind of interesting feeling. And I've got a similar, although slightly different bend going on uh, over here where it's actually bending downwards. And one key thing that you're going to want to do to get this effect is 
open up your EXS24 and you see here where it says pitch just take this and put it all the way up to 12 this is the pitch bend range I think the default is like 2 and then you'll get something like this so you can hear a less dramatic pitch bend it's it's this is the pitch bend amount so let's set that to 12 get that nice dramatic pitch bend. And there we have it. A um, couple of ideas that'll help you with your own uh, drum programming. So hopefully that was uh, helpful for you guys. And if you want to learn more stuff like this, you can check out our courses both at DubSpot Online and at our school here in New York City. And We'll cover all of this stuff in much greater detail, how to create these sounds, how to program all this stuff, sequencing, mixing, arranging, and really go into a lot of detail. And if you want to learn more about me and my music, uh, you can check me out at mattshadetech.com. And thanks very much for watching. Welcome to DubSpot. We believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, DubSpot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you've come to the right place. Come explore DubSpot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music.